when you give your time, attention, loyalty, energy, intimacy, yes, your sex fucking on to somebody who ain't ready or who doesn't like see value in that shit. When you get that shit to them repeatedly, you will damage yourself. Y'all really got to hit me. When y'all be giving all this time, all this energy, all this help, all this intimacy, all this loyalty to somebody who they ain't ready for the responsibility of taking on like all your care or they don't see no value in that shit. And y'all just keep repeatedly giving them that shit. All you do is damage you. And then, you know, y'all favorite thing to say is like, you can't help who you love. And then, you know, I'd be the first to say, but you can help being stupid. So you can feel how you want to feel about somebody. But the reality of what's going on with your dealings with them is completely separate. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Like these is two different things. You can be in love and care about and have, you know, an affinity towards whoever you want, whether you say you can help it or you can't, but bitch, you can help being dumb. You can help repeating the same cycles of shit that you know the outcome is not changing. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Like, just making sure y'all clear on that part first. When you give your time, your attention, your loyalty, your energy, your, your, your intimacy to somebody who they just ain't ready. Don't mean they doing nothing wrong, but a bitch ain't ready for all that. All that seriousness, all the weight that come along with like being that person that you giving your care to and shit. Or they don't see no value in that shit. Like you got to keep repeating to a bitch what you doing for them that's valuable. Like just know the more you do that, the more that shit just damages you. Like a lot of y'all, you're damaged financially, you're damaged mentally, you're damaged spiritually. Some of y'all, your energy is damaged. Your vibe, like because you stuck around so long, repeatedly giving a bitch that same shit. And I'm going to tell y'all something else too. Y'all know when I be saying like, you need to know when to use the dough, you need to know when to leave. Like a lot of y'all don't realize some people, it don't take them a year Two years, five years, ten years to fuck you up. Some people, right off bat, they got so much like, I don't give a fuck about what a bitch do for me, what they want, what they say. I got my own shit to worry about type shit. Your ass can get drugged in a couple days. Like, a bitch will be able to damage your motherfucking self-esteem in about a month. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Some of y'all took a nigga two, three months. To damage your ass. Took a bitch a good 30 days, nigga, to have you way off track. Some of y'all fucking around with the wrong person that ain't ready for the lifestyle you trying to introduce to them or make them a part of. Them bitches will fuck your finances up 12 days, bitch. A good 24 hours with your debit card. It's over with. Like a lot of y'all think long periods of time be meaning something in the positive or the negative, but it be what actually be fucking going on in the amount of time, be it a little bit or a long time. I hope y'all genuinely get what I'm trying to tell y'all. When you give your time, your attention, your energy, your loyalty, your intimacy to somebody who they just not ready or they don't care about that shit. They don't see no value in that shit. It's a lot of y'all like the people just legitimately the stuff that you keep making it seem like it's such a big deal. It's not a big deal to them. Like for those of y'all that don't know what I'm talking about. It's some of y'all you done talked to a few dudes that you felt like it was the world that you gave him some pussy. The man been getting plenty of pussy since he was a teenager. So the idea that there is some sort of, you know, rainbow that shows up after fucking with you to that particular man, the pussy is just pussy. Some of y'all, your time, you feel, man, nigga been over there with you all day. If the, if the girl used to getting time out of every nigga she talked to and she don't really see no value in your time being different than the time she done got out of every other nigga, that whole man love, I was over there with her all day. The bitch still got mad when I left, but she still felt wrong person, dude, wrong person. The shit you value or the shit you feel like it's supposed to be valuable that you bring it to the table, she don't see that. And when you keep repeatedly pressing the issue and giving and dishing out and putting on for a motherfucker who don't see value in that, your ass will get damaged. The shit will bother your self-esteem. It will have you around here trying to prove points. It will have you online pretending like you don't give a fuck about stuff that we could clearly see you give a fuck about. 
I hope y'all genuinely take in what I'm saying. And then you know y'all favorite thing to say, well, love, you can't help who you love, but you can help how long you're stupid. You can help being dumb. You can help repeating some shit. That's the definition of insanity. Doing the same shit over and over again. We're expecting different results when you see the outcome of what happens when you do this with this person. Definitely. It'd be the bullshit for me. And then this is what I'm going to say too. If you're with somebody and they can't manage their life, because a lot of y'all, when I start talking like this, y'all be making it simple. What if the person asking you for your help, love? Well, what if the person asking you, listen, after a while, you will realize that the person struggles to manage, just manage their life without the dealings and support from you and they don't really see no value in it or no real gratitude so it is time for you to let go grown people that struggle to manage their life without your support as an adult like bro you need to reconsider the whole point of dealing with them you need to go have a meeting with yourself some people in your brain you know whoever it is that you talk to and, and regroup on what the fuck you doing some of y'all, it's whole grown folk in the fact that you cannot like go an hour or a day without like helping them organize their life. You need to reconsider because y'all ain't going to make it too far in life. You won't. You won't. I talked to y'all about the pack mentality versus the herd mentality. When you set your life and your family unit and your relationship up as a real team and y'all operate like a pack. You ever seen animals that run in a pack? The motherfuckers operate different than fucking animals that just, you know, migrate around in, in large herds. One star running, they all star running. You know, they stand at the water well. Everybody, you know, around the pond or the lake or wherever eating. One of them get snatched in the water by an alligator. They all standing there still looking stupid and shit. No real, like, math or strategy behind what they doing. Like, a lot of y'all don't realize this your family. This you and your girl, bro. Y'all just out here just doing what you see everybody else doing. Packs, when you watch animals, wolves, lions, tigers, animals that run in packs and groups. When they move, when they operate, when they migrate, when they change areas, when they out for food or for purpose, them motherfuckers got a line up. It's a certain person in the front for a reason. The bitch in the back for a reason. The motherfuckers on the sides and the kids in between these two for a reason. Like when we step, we stepping with reason and purpose. Not just out here copying what you see other motherfuckers doing. And the thing about it is, the one in the front don't got to always keep looking back to check on the one in the back. Everybody know they position and they play it and you ain't got to carry me or help me. Y'all see see a, 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 a group of, you, I'm talking about this be foxes, wolves. But when you see how these animals move, the bitch in the back don't need the one in the front to look back and, hey, you are, I already know when we left, where, we, where the fuck we left at. I knew what the fuck to do, what was expected of me, how I was supposed to move. You ain't got to carry me. You ain't got to keep coming back here all day long, making sure I understand. I got to make sure ain't nobody following us and where we came from. And the one in the front got to make sure he looking out for any danger, any threats, you know, as far as where we going. And the kids even know, the, the, the cubs, the small ones know, hey boy, you better stay in between these two because anything go wrong, they got you. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Still be telling me, you can't help who you love, but you can't help it. All that micro man. Some of y'all think y'all leaders. You think you the one that yell, yeah, I'm a leader. But the way you try to keep going to the back of the line and coming in the middle and trying to, y'all should have figured that out before you got going. Message. Like before you got online calling y'all self a couple. Maybe you should have figured out what y'all roles were, what this nigga weaknesses and strengths was, what your weaknesses and strengths. Cause you out like moving around, like you in the midst of hunting for food and trying to get shit together. And you steady trying to like micromanage a bitch or tell a bitch what they is and they, y'all should have got y'all still together before y'all left the house.
somebody said 15 to 20 years ago, people operated using principles and values. The world so far, I'm telling you. And the thing is, we spend more time nowadays worried about what other people got going on or what's going on outside of our shit. And this is why the fuck you end up in situations where, you know, you've been in it, spinning your wheels, giving your time, giving your attention, giving your care, giving your loyalty. And you, you wondering why you feel like I'm such a good person and I can't help who I love, but your life ain't really advancing. By advancing and success, y'all know I'm talking about genuine happiness, meaning being happy with you, not just happy because you got material things and then also fulfilling your fucking goals as an adult. I'm definitely just looking at y'all, how y'all looking at me. Hopefully this helps somebody get their mental right. For those of y'all that, you know, you may not understand or you feel like your, your circumstance or your situation need to be explained specifically, text 678-965-0698. Get on a one-on-one -on -one call with me. A lot of y'all, I told y'all, these relationships you don't understand privacy and the point of speaking on and getting some advice from somebody that actually understands psychology and it's not talking to you from a hurt space y'all go ask other damaged people for advice on y'all fucking situations that be damaging y'all and this go for male or female for any of y'all that's trying to grow y'all business become an entrepreneur understand marketing investments you know get the game on what a crm is understand what i call my my uh, business flower just all the good shit that have to do with money this Saturday, 9.30 p.m. is my Zoom. I'm running back on money, marketing, entrepreneurship. You can also text 678-965-0698. Lock in your spot. Um, got a couple more days. I'm probably going to stop taking people on Thursday. It'll be the cutoff point. 678-965-0698. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy y'all Monday.